Hello students, once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see pseudo halogens. What are the pseudo halogens? These are the inorganic radicals. Students, here the inorganic word is very important. Existing as monomeric anion. They are existing as what? Monomeric anions are neutral dimer which have similar properties. Show that of halide ions. It is mostly similar to what? Halide ions. That is why it is called as what? Pseudo halogens. It is not a halogens, but it is look like a halide ions. That is why it is called as what? Pseudo halogens. Understanding students? So here I have written a halogen. It is asked in examinations. What are the pseudo halogens? You have to write. These are the inorganic radicals existing as monomeric anion or neutral dimer. You can also say what? Neutral dimer which have similar properties like halide ions and halogens, but they are not actual halogens. That is why it is called as what? Pseudo halogens. Now students. We are going to see the properties of pseudo halogens. First of all, what are the properties they are having? First property students, they are volatile in free state. If they are present in free state, they are always they will volatile. Understanding? So they are what volatile in free state. They are poisonous dimeric compound. They are very very poisonous dimeric compounds. They are isomorphous in free and in solid state. Their salts with silver iodide, lead 2 plus, mercury 1 plus are insoluble in water. Say for example, it is silver chloride. Their salts with silver iodide, lead 2 plus, mercury 1 plus are insoluble in water. They form hydroacids. They are, they are forming what? Hydroacid with hydrogen. Say for example, ACL, hydrogen cyanide. Hydrogen cyanide. They form complexes and double salt similar to halogens. So these are the what? That it is a complex salt. They form a covalent compound similar to halide. They are also forming what? Covalent compounds like a halide. They form inter pseudo halogens similar to the inter halogens. Understanding students? They are also forming what? Inter pseudo halogens similar. Here the example students I have given. Cyanogen, cyanide with nitride. Similar to halogens, they give addition reaction. They are also giving the addition reaction. Here students I have given. It is a what? Ethene combines with chlorine gas it is forming what 1 2 dichloro ethene now what happens students this um, when combined with thiocyanide it is combining like this the double bond will become what single bond and these two cyanide thiocyanide will attach to the 1 and 2 carbon they can form insoluble salt and give precipitation reactions understanding students they can form insoluble salt so these are the insoluble salt students say for example when combines with chloride, lead 2 plus gives you lead chloride as a what precipitation. That is why you have given arrow is what below. It's combined with two cyanide, lead 2 plus gives you lead cyanide. It is also what a type of precipitation will take place. Silver combines with chloride ions, it will forming silver chloride. Silver is also combined with cyanide and forming what silver cyanide. So your lead cyanide and silver cyanides are what they are the pseudo halogens. Understanding students? So these are very very important students. So here I have compared with the halides and the halogens, pseudo halogens. These are the pseudo halogens and these are what? Halides. The same properties is what? Similar to halogens, but they are not the halogens. That is why it is called as what? Pseudo halogens students. Understanding? So these are the very, very important in examination. If they are asking what are the pseudo, pseudo halogens and write down its properties. So this way you have to write. You will get the full marks students. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. God bless you.